a downtown Monroe landmark that's almost a century old, is getting a makeover to continue its legacy. We've remodeled six historic buildings uh, since we started, and we've remodeled every other floor of the old Washington National Bank building. So this is actually the last part of our remodeling efforts in downtown Monroe. The actual room that I wanted to remodel the most ended up being the very last one, and it's taken a number of years to get to it. Embarking on a historic restoration project requires extensive planning and attention to detail for a building to become a restored jewel. For builder Randy Armstrong, it's another chance to restore a building's historic features in downtown Monroe, now that he's shaping the restoration of the grand lobby of the Vantage Tower, once known as the Washita National Bank Building. Doc's dream was to try to get it back as near as original as he could. Of course, there were some things we couldn't do. You know, they used to have a huge staircase that went through the floor down to the safe deposit boxes. We knew we couldn't do that. But I think with uh, Sissy and Jerry Madden's design, we, we got close, you know, we got close. Restoring the building after years of alterations is a significant way to remember the past. A primary space like the Grand Lobby is always important to the character of a building and should be preserved. It was beautiful when they first built it in 1921. In the 1950s they came in and they built a floor through, through this big two-story space, they built a floor, a second floor. And so you didn't have a balcony, you didn't have a mezzanine uh, after that. So it, it's fun putting it back to the splendor that it was uh, when it was originally built. Although each step taken in the historic restoration process is intricate, the end result is beneficial. Anytime you work on a building that's almost 100 years old, it rears its head sometimes and throws you a curveball. So we had, I think, 60-something holes we had to prep through the walls and the floor and the ceiling of that thing and it's 28 inch thick concrete so a lot of drilling a lot of coordination and then again we we broke the floor up and uh, removed the concrete and take the floor pan up and let steel beams down by hand we couldn't get any real equipment in there so we we figured out a way to get it done that way so it's, it's had a lot of challenges but it's been fun no one who enters the Vantage Tower building will doubt the restored lobby is anything less than grand. The 1921 entrance features a breathtaking view of its restored 26-foot tall ceiling. I think everyone's going to like it a lot. Um, I, I'm excited about it because I like coffee and uh, I like bakeries and at Butter, a Louisiana bakery will be in there. It's also going to have a coffee shop with the bakery. Roller Roaster, which is one of our downtown businesses, will be providing the coffee beans for the coffee there in the, in the bakery, so we'll have Roller Roaster coffee. And there'll be a place to sit and enjoy your pastries and coffee, and it'll be the lobby for the entire building. That's why we're calling it the Grand Lobby. Expectations of grandeur are immediately met as one enters the sparkling lobby and gazes upon the massive stone columns. The feature wall is where the receptions and security guard will be, but beyond that, it, we removed the section mezzanine floor and opened it up to about a 28-foot ceiling height. Some really massive chandeliers hanging and pretty ornate uh, railings around that. And a lot, a lot of carpet work, a lot of fancy mill work. The restoration reopens the original access points to enter the building. We have a new awning out over the front door that uh, I think the building deserved. And uh, so when you come through the front door, you'll come into that grand lobby, and then you can go to the elevators from there. Dr. Jones says the old hallway from the parking garage was an old alleyway behind all the buildings, which at some point was closed in to make an indoor hallway. This renovation corrects all that, providing access directly to the grand lobby from the garage entry. Even the most casual observer can't help but be taken by the magnificence of the room and appreciate the work involved in its restoration. It can be said that a company is defined by what it builds, but more importantly, a company is defined by what it decides to keep. Vantage Health Plan can definitely be identified as a trustee of historic buildings in downtown Monroe.